his extraordinary knowledge of biblical text. And I mean, this is so clear in this volume two, in this Yonder Comes Sin. Just again, not just the the so-called born again albums, but all the way through the 80s. Uh, you know, we're looking particularly at great songs like Groom Still Waiting at the Altar and Joker Man and, of course, Blind Willie McTell and so on. And um, in all these, the use of biblical text is vast. Uh, just glance along through some of the footnotes uh, in these chapters. And, uh, I mean, very seldom does he just quote straightforwardly a verse of biblical text. But very, very often he twists one or, or builds a, a poetic line because he knows one. And, um, you know, this is this is not just Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, you know, this is or, or, or Genesis. It's everything. I mean, there are quotes here and, and uses that he has built upon here from many, many books of the Bible. I mean, not just Leviticus and Deuteronomy either, but Daniel, uh, uh, Lamentations, Job, uh, Ezekiel, Revelation, Old and New Testament. His knowledge of this material is phenomenal, and uh, it, it was a very rewarding, though difficult, task for me when, in order to tackle this work of his properly, I had to actually, from cover to cover, read the King James Bible. And it is almost always the King James Bible that he uses. It's the poetic version in the English language. It's the version that is saturated in the work of Shakespeare as well as Bob Dylan. <laughs> as for Dylan's extraordinary knowledge of the Bible, I, I, I'm i just amazed by it over and over again. I mean, I've been, you know, I've been proofreading for this, uh, for this volume and now looking at the finished text again, and uh, it just staggers me over and over how much of this material he knows in inwardly enough to use it so creatively and so resourcefully he's not uh, you know he never skims the surface of it he really knows it and he takes it seriously uh, he hasn't always taken it seriously as as religious truth i mean that that probably was quite a brief period but he took it seriously as literature his whole life, it seems to me.